Hello everyone, this is Matt at FixMyGPU.com Today we have a Compact CQ50 um, It says built to last right here <laughs> uh, We push the power button It turns on And then we get it the extremely loud beeps. So, I'm going to uh, take this sucker apart. I'm going to do a reflow on the chip just to make sure that that is the problem. Uh, if it is, we will proceed to do a reball. Uh, I am going to show you a new tool I have. It's a desoldering station that sucks uh, the solder up as you are using, as you are trying to, as you put the tip to the solder pads. It heats the solder up and it sucks the excess solder off the pads. I bought this because I am extremely sick of worrying if I use too much solder wick if I'm going to pull the pad up. So I give it a once over with the solder wick and then I use the desolder vacuum to remove the excess solder. It seems to be working very well. So I'm going to pause this, get it open, uh, and get set up on the Jovi to do a reflow and I will be right back. Okay, well, I did the reflow on it. It starts up. I still don't get any picture. I don't get the beeps anymore. So I still believe it's a GPU problem. So I'm going to go ahead, pull the chip, and reball it. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. So I got it on the Jovi. I got the lower heater on fast reflow. Got my upper heater set to four and a half. Had it all taped up. Um, I'm gonna let the lower heater get to about 80 degrees Celsius. Turn on the upper heater to fast reflow. And then at 110 degrees, I'll swing the upper heater over. Uh, and we'll try to lift the chip off probably around 215 degrees Celsius or 220, something like that. And then uh, I will start the camera back up when. Uh, I get around 80, 85 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the uh, temperature just got to 110. I'm swinging the upper heater over. Sorry, I didn't turn the camera on a little bit faster than I, I wanted to, but I hit 110 and I swing the temperature over, or the upper heater over. At 166 right now. At 190. 200. Two eighteen, two nineteen, two twenty. Should have had the set already. All right, so I'm at two twenty.
30 right now. Okay, so the glue was holding it down, obviously. I had it taped off pretty good, so I think we should be okay. I'm going to pause the camera and get it set up on my blue jig and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so I got it on the blue tool here. So I'm going to put some flux on it. First off, I'll tell you, I took a razor blade and uh, scraped off the remaining glue that was around the edge of the chip. Be careful and try not to touch pad uh, balls when you do that. Turn on my soldering iron. I got my soldering iron set to 320 degrees Celsius. I got this cleaning thing I used to clean my tip with. Okay. Every side are wick. Get on my 
to stay in one spot too long. Cut you some new solder wick. You can cut it whenever you want. That went pretty smooth, so I just left it on the whole time. Sorry, I got the uh, NFL draft going on in the background. Okay, so I got my uh, cleaning solution, which is MEK. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's in the paint aisle. It's just called MEK. It says it in big letters on it. It's like a paint thinner type solution. Clean the edges off. 